What up, Screen Fiends? I'm GB, and you're tuned in to Screenheads TV, where we like to discuss all the wonderful things appearing on your movie and your TV screens. In this episode, we're going to have another Star Wars discussion, only this time we're going to talk about the Han Solo standalone movie that is scheduled to come out next May. But I have a feeling they're going to push that to December, just because they've done well in December with the last two movies. Okay, um, so we're going to give our speculation, predictions, whatever you want to call it, on what we think is going to happen in the in that particular movie. Um, all right, uh, pardon me if I keep looking down, but I actually took notes this time, so maybe uh, I'll be able to flow better, be a little less scatterbrained. Let's see how it works, but I'm going to be looking down from here, time to time. Okay, so let's get the obvious stuff out of the way. We know he's going to find the Falcon. Uh, we know he's going to meet Chewie. And we know he's going to meet Lando. Right? Okay, so how are those things going to happen? Um, I think meeting Lando is going to be tied into the Falcon somehow. Um, maybe, you know, they're, they're competing for it. Maybe they're both trying to steal it. And that's how they meet. Uh, or maybe Lando loses it to Han in a card game or something. I don't know. But... You get the feeling from their relationship in Empire that, um, and even in Jedi, that uh, the the ship has been around longer than both of them. Neither one of them built it or created it, and um, that it it was highly valued for both of them. So I have a feeling that they were both competing for it in some way, shape, or form. Whether it be both trying to steal it, a card game of sorts, or a, a race, or something. Um, or maybe it's Woody Harrelson's ship and Lando and Han are part of his crew on it. And when he dies, which I have a feeling he's going to die in this movie, maybe Han and Lando are like fighting over who's going to get the Falcon. Um, that sounds like a feasible um, premise to me. But I think the Falcon is going to be a big focus of the movie. Maybe not like um, what drives the plot, but it's going to be in a large portion of the movie, I feel. Chewie, on the other hand, I don't think is going to be in the majority of the movie. Um, now, that's just an opinion. I have a feeling they want to introduce new creatures and new droids and stuff. So I really don't know if we're going to get a lot of Chewie. I can see it playing out where the last action sequence maybe happens on Kashyyyk or it happens somewhere else where... Where, you know, Chewie is there, or off Kashyyyk, whatever. And uh, maybe Han saves his life during whatever the end battle is. And then Chewie gives him the life debt. Because I'm pretty sure that's their backstory. That Han saves Chewie's life, and then Chewie owes Han a life debt. I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. I could be wrong. I'm sure someone will correct me if I'm wrong. Um, okay, so yeah, that's the obvious stuff. Chewie, Lando, and the Falcon. And I I think Lando and the Falcon are going to be big parts of the movie. I Doubt Chewie is, but like I said, I could be wrong. Okay, um, I have a feeling this movie is going to be about the criminals and the outlaws. Um, you know, Han is a smuggler, and I have a feeling that him and Woody Harrelson's dynamic is going to be like father-son. They're not father-son, but that type of dynamic. And it's going to fall into, you know, the criminal underworld, where he's kind of Han's mentor as far as the crime goes, the smuggling, and whatever, whatever other shady dealings that they're into but i think it's going to be a large part smuggling that's their thing um and i think lando will be that too but i have a feeling he's going to be like a gambler like a, a pirate kind of character a thief i have a feeling lando's going to be this smooth talking con man type of guy uh okay um so the criminal outlaws and i think we will get jabba but I think it's going to be like at the end of the movie and it'll just be like a wink. Like um, he goes to, you know, at the very end of the movie after it's all said and done, you know, he goes to take a job from this crime lord, this heart, and it's Jabba. And then, you know, Jabba tells him, don't you mess up, Holo, or Solo, or I'll... Holo. <laughs> Holo! Don't you mess up, Solo, or I'll, uh, you know, put you in carbonite or whatever. And then Han, you know, oh, I would never do that to you, Jabba, you know, looks at the camera like a wink. I could see them doing something like that, but I don't think Jabba is going to be in the movie a lot or a big character. Um, I, and I wouldn't be surprised if Jabba didn't show up at all, because maybe that's bringing it too close to A New Hope. And I have a feeling that they're going to be doing like a young Han around his, tw his early 20s, 
So I have a feeling that it's going to be about 10 years or so before A New Hope. I don't know if that's been stated or announced. I didn't hear that news, but that's how I feel. Um, okay, and uh, let's see. So we touched on Jabba. Um, we'll, we'll find that about Han's past, of course. I have a feeling he's like some sort of an orphan. Just by the way he responds to the whole family dynamic in the original trilogy, I have a feeling that he's maybe an orphan um, or, you know, his parents were killed very young or gave him up or something like that. So I don't think we're going to get like a full closure thing to Han's past. But I think we'll learn that he's an orphan and maybe Woody Harrelson's character takes him up or, or something like that. Catches him stealing from him and decides he, he's going to, you know, mentor him. I can see it happening some way like that. Because um, I believe we will get, they said it's going to be like a, a span... You know, it's going to be a time span in the movie. So we'll probably get a little flashbacky stuff early on. Um, okay, um, because we're dealing with the criminal element, I think treachery is going to be a big part of this movie. Um, I can see Woody Harrelson's character being a traitor. I can see La Lando being a traitor. I can see Han being a traitor. Since, you know, he comes from this criminal dark underworld, he always had like a dark kind of past. So I could totally see them going that route with the whole movie. I mean, look at Rogue One. It was a darker Star Wars film. It dealt with war, it dealt with treachery, it dealt with death in a very real way. And I have a feeling that's what they're going for with the standalone movies. Whereas the franchise, they're trying to make those movies for everybody to where adults, teens, and kids can like them. But, you know, my son didn't really enjoy Rogue One like that because I think it was geared more towards adults. Um, it, it's it's more, you know, original trilogy-esque. And I think that's what they're going with these three standalone movies they're going to do right now. I, yes, I believe they're going to do them in batches of threes. And each three is going to take place at a different time period in the Star Wars timeline. So we got Rogue One. Then we get Han Solo. And then we get... Whatever the next one's going to be, the Bounty Hunter Wars or whatever. And those will all take place before New Hope. Whereas the next ones and the next ones, whatever. But this video isn't about that. I'm going to do a whole separate video on that topic. Um, yeah, so I, I think it's going to be darker in tone. Now I hope, this is my hopes, that they nail the character. Because if this guy, um, uh, Alden Eidenbreich, Aiden, something like that. He has a strange name. If this guy isn't doesn't feel like Han Solo like he could be a young Han Solo it's gonna not it's not gonna mess up the Harrison Ford character but it's gonna make this movie be the one where fans don't want to admit that it exists you know because they're gonna look at it as messing with a beloved character see you Rogue One didn't have that problem it was really all new characters. But in this one, you're taking a beloved character and you're altering or rewriting or just writing his backstory, which if not handled properly, not just the backstory, but the acting, the directing of him, the writing for him, if it's not handled the right way, it's going to hurt the character of Han Solo, especially in the fans' eyes. This is one of the fan favorites. So if you mess up his backstory... Fans are going to be pissed. So I really hope they get it right. Not only for the fan service, of course, but for the continuity. Because you want this to feel like the same character. You want it to feel like it's Han Solo. Not Harrison Ford, but Han Solo. Which, unfortunately for the actor playing young Han, <laughs> he has to mimic Harrison Ford. Because that's who breathed... Oh, excuse me. That's who breathed life into Han Solo, right? So, um, I really have high hopes for this movie. I enjoyed Rogue One. I was surprised I was going to like it. I thought to myself, do we really need this? But it worked, and it fits in the movie, and it, it's a great bridge to A New Hope. And I really feel like if this movie's done right, it can flesh out Han Solo even more to make him a more enjoyable character than he already is. And he's already a great character. But if they do this backstory right, then when you watch him in the subsequent movies, um, you know, the original trilogy and Force Awakens, you're going to appreciate that character even more knowing where he came from. That's why I like backstories. Because if they're done right... 
then it fleshes out your character in present day so much more and makes him a better character. So I really hope they do well with this. Um, that's it for this video. Uh, don't forget, next month, May the 4th, we're doing Star Wars all month long. I will keep on reminding you till I'm blue in the face. Um, we're going to do Star Wars videos, Guardians of the Galaxy, Alien, anything that's really space or galaxy related. May is going to be an exciting month for me because I love the sci-fi shit. Um, so definitely tune in for that. Chime in down below. Let me know what you think about my predictions for the Han Solo movie or how you think it's going to turn out. Why don't you give me your predictions if you have your own predictions? Um, yeah, just sound off down below. Let's get a discussion, a Han Solo discussion going. All right, uh, that's it for this video. Thanks again for uh, tuning in. I really appreciate you watching. Uh, you guys have a great day, and uh, I will see you next time.